This is Palmerston North, and these schoolgirls are not going to school. For a few weeks, they can't go to school because the army is going there instead. It has borrowed the school buildings for special urgent training. The war must come first these days. But no schools doesn't mean no education. Buildings of a sort can be borrowed, and a complete emergency education scheme is soon underway. The scheme stresses making and doing. These children are making animals from wire, paper and paste. Some sit on the floor and paint large scenes. The painters have helped puppet makers and others to make and run this colorful puppet theater. This is physical education. Teams of boys of all sizes are competing against each other. They stay in these teams for all their classes. Great interest in the running of the emergency scheme was taken by its original sponsors, the Director of Education and the Minister of Education. Here's a cooking class for girls' teams. For this, the electricity showrooms were lent. The scheme owed its success to such cooperation all over the town. Amidst all the making and doing, books are not forgotten, and libraries are available. Formal lessons, more like ordinary school, are taken in such places as church halls, but even the formal lessons are apt to lead to unusual activities. The English class, for example, writes radio plays, and these are recorded during periods at the local radio station, one of the many places the teams visit. Here's another visit, one to gladden any boy's heart. Teams are doing jobs for the community too. Different girls teams go regularly to the public hospital. They help the staff by folding clothes in the laundry. All work is done in 90 minute periods. Some help to keep trim the gardens in the square. Later, when they walk by on their way to school once more, they'll have a personal interest in these gardens. Some work allotments of their own on school grounds. And here's a team headquarters in a garage. Each of the 180 teams has its own meeting place. For a month, the whole town was their school, and the streets were school corridors. They learnt more by seeing and doing than by book learning. They saw and tried for themselves the sort of jobs people have in their town. They learnt they could do many things they had never tried to do before. The war gave Palmerston schools a month of emergency. They took it, and they turned it into a month of opportunity. <laughs> 